Well, this morning we are joined by Oklahoma City Mayor David Holt for our weekly chats. Mayor Holt, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Well, it was a big day for you yesterday as you take over the reins at Oklahoma City University's Law School. You're the new dean there. How did the first day go and kind of uh, what's your vision for the job? <laughs> well, it went great. And, of course, as we've talked here before, you know, mayors have uh, robust professional lives. So it was a milestone in my professional life. And, uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's one that has a, uh, a lot of resonance with the things that motivate me. Obviously, I love to work on things that make our city better. And uh, this is the only law school in the city limits. It's the only law school in America's 20th largest city in our state's capital. Uh, we deserve a great law school. Obviously, lawyers that are produced at OCU Law facilitate all of the other things that make life possible here in the city, from the business to the civic uh, to the government life of our community. So I'm very excited. And, uh, and to your question and my vision, I mean, I think that, uh, as I said, this law school plays a vital role in our city's future. And I'm really excited to contribute to that. I uh, want to shift our focus now to the northeast side of the city, always encouraging new development there, specifically from uh, black business owners. Talk to us about uh, a new breakfast and brunch restaurant opening up. It's JB's new spot called Scrambled on 23rd. Have you been there? Yeah, I stopped by Monday. I haven't gotten to eat yet. I was uh, only there briefly to just uh, say hi to some folks, and I'm looking forward to my first meal. But um, what this really reflects is a lot of new development that we're seeing in Northeast, whether you think about the homeland that we were so excited to open a couple years ago, the Senior Wellness Center for MAPS 3 that we have under construction, the Clara Looper Civil Rights Center uh, that MAPS 4 promises, uh, but also, we've got this really exciting East Point development right there on Northeast 23rd, kind of in the mm -hmm. historic heart of the city's African-American community. Um, you know, this, this East Point development last year or the year before won a, a ULI, Urban Land Institute, international award. Um, you know, it's really got some of the, the most exciting new developments that we've seen along Northeast 23rd in a long time. So, Scrambled is just the latest example, um, but, you know, you can... You can start your morning there. You can you can get a coffee uh, later the day uh, at nearby. You can get spiked. You can go get a drink at the end of the day at Kindred Spirits. You can go buy groceries there at the market at East Point. Um, they even got health care. I mean, and exercise. I mean, they got everything coming into there. Of course, the council has already approved a potential hotel investment across the street. So, yeah, it's just a really exciting time in the life of Northeast 23rd. And uh, it's been an exciting five years. And as you start to see it all coming together, you, you really sense the momentum. Right. Yeah. Good morning, East Side. That banner said uh, way to go. Mayor Holt, thanks for uh, sharing time with us. Don't be late to your new job, okay? Be on time today. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Robin. Have all a right. Day. Have a good day, sir.